Now the starters for the Carroll Tigers. Number 32, Amber Reed. Number 34, Sarah Stribe. Number 40, Kim McCaffrey. Number 42, Katie Koberg. And number 44, Jackie Voss. And the head coach of the Carroll Tigers, Don Olson. The floor officials, Marlo Van Ginkle and Rich Larson. The alternate floor official, Terry Eaton. Well, it's the final championship game to be played. Class 3A, Vinton, Shellsburg, and Carroll, Mike Henderson. What are the matchups to look at here? Well, I think, number one, you look at what uh, the team comparisons is rating. Vinton, of course, rated number one all season long, working on a 51-game winning streak. Uh, state champions a year ago, number one rated all year. Carroll, they was rated, getting up rated eighth. Look at it, both right together. Oh. Field goal percentage, free throw percentage. Obviously, average within a tenth. Benton a little bit the edge on defense, and that's the way I've seen the two teams all week. Pretty well dead even, except Benton a little stouter up and down the line defensively, maybe one or two kids deeper. Carroll has four outstanding players, a little bit of trouble when they have to go to their bench. Well, we're underway with the 3A championship, and we got a whistle on the immediate tip here, Mike. That's on an awful good kid, Kim McCaffrey, uh, who's uh, the kid that goes out and runs the press for him. He's the kid that press meter that runs it. We had Ben Shellsburg opening with a big, fairly easy win over Davenport Assumption. And then I let everybody look forward to, to being one of the top games in the contest. Pretty well demolished, Georgia. No doubt about it. The road for Benton there. Down the inside. Shot blocked from the backside by Jackie Voss. And here come the Carroll Tigers. And I'll tell you, they're going to be boisterous across the way. Look at how Carroll got here. Of course, that big crowd against MOC Point Valley in a nice game. And then against Pella Christian. Two good games. Oh, the first one may have been the best game of the tournament in any class. Double dribble turnover here against Carroll Tigers. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a noisy one for this 3A as the Vinton Shellsburg Vikings bring it up here. Can open in the zone. Yeah, maybe a little matchup. Box and one inside on Hewman. A little everything so far. <laughs> they're going to go with they're going to go with McCaffrey on uh, on Hewman. And help it looks like. Back outside, Benton very patient, kicks it down to the corner. Nice give and go, in and out, back inside. Hewman, and that shot doesn't go. Off of the rebound, looks like Keller wants to run with the basketball. He's gonna travel. Took a step over on the far side. Sarah Stride trying to take her to the hoop and the walk. Right, take this. There's Harold Shepard, the veteran coach at Ben Salzburg, calling out that 340 is an offense this time. And we'll be getting some interesting comments, believe me, from Harold Shepard. Rated number one, number one and number eight matching up here, Mike. Well, we certainly had a lot of interesting comments from you all week long. I hope he doesn't go clown on this now. Side shot block and have a foul. Jackie Voss. They can't afford to get her in foul trouble, Mike. Well, we saw that happen in MOC. They led by 13 and a half first half. Uh, here we go inside. Voss push off with the ball on the other kid, and Voss catches it on the shoulder. The second player follower, her, but... Uh, Carroll got up by 13 in the first half. We look at their veteran coach, uh, Don Olson. Hope maybe to see him make that trip to the water cooler later. It's a show in itself. When Don gets upset, he makes the walk down the road. Free throw good. Make it 2 nothing ball game in favor of Vinton Shellsburg. A little pressure here by the Vikettes. 622, first quarter just underway here. 3A championship. Mick Tier, Mike Henderson. There's the matchup we'll look at, by the way. There you go. Stride wins round one. Sarah Stride with a bucket ties it up at two. Hewman kicks it out. Back out front, they'll work the offense. 
Simply owes Sheen to win in the opening game here tonight in the 2A championship, 52-38 over North Cedar. This the 3A, the final championship game of the week. And a fun week it has been. Been pretty patient here. Boy, they're trying to work it inside a human. That's going to be trouble because the defense is really set up for with McCaffrey on her all the time. Help out of the help out of the zone from the other side. Yeah, McCaffrey, wherever human goes, McCaffrey goes. There they finally get it in her hands. She's gonna take a six-footer in and out. No good. Rebound now to the by the Carroll Tigers. Well, a couple of good coaches on hand here, Mike. Right, and here's the defense, here's the defensive matchup we look for. Sarah Stride, the outstanding uh, sophomore with Andrea Robertson. Taking it to the hoop, and a foul is gonna be called on Monica Heelman. He opened with her first oh, yeah, time. Time, time runs on a snipe right off of, uh, of number 44 Voss, and then uh, Yeoman catches her on the shoulder. 509 to go in the first. We're tied at two. Well, I don't want you to. Well, you know, in uh, 1984, Coach Harold Shepard won the state tournament. Uh, his daughter Paige was one of the stars. We, uh, we in fact, we still feature her on the closeout on the one, uh, the one song that closing credits. So she's in a lot of that picture. Uh, Chef has another a stepdaughter playing for this team. Uh, uh, Libby Greenley, number 21, and uh, the point guard she played a year ago, and her mother, Kay. So you see her on the bench. She's uh, right on the end of the bench keeping the scorebook for the bike. 4-2 ball game. Carroll on top here by a bucket. Five minutes to play, first quarter. And Vinton Shellsburg has Monica Heulman being guarded by Kim McCaffrey, and it's been somewhat of a key so far in the first few minutes of this game. Well, McCaffrey's an awfully good athlete. She's a long hurdle in track, great volleyball, softball player, hard worker, as we saw in the game the other night. She can run well and she's in good fit. Well, Vinton very patient, trying to get the ball inside, and I think we're going to have a foul after a nice drive inside yeah. by Robertson. Now, this drive Robertson matchup's going to be a good one as we develop also that maybe the two uh, the best two guards in this class competition, along with Linda Lapley, probably the whole tournament. Throw it in play. Not quite the defense. Switch the defense around to the inbound. That's uh, got that shot by Hewlett. Ball knocked it out. It's going to be Vinton Shells for basketball. Get a shot from the rafters up here. Hewlett starting out real tentative. Uh, she's a great shooter and uh, really hadn't come close on her shot to face. Mike could change the defense around a little bit. Now this should be an advantage to Vinton Shells. Foul's going to be inside. The boss will foul out in a hurry with that matchup. We saw her get in foul trouble in both games before. Jackie Voss with her second personal foul. And Edelson Hewlett to the line. 75% free throw shooter. It's good. Harmonic is a kid that's going to land fifth on the all-time career point total. The, uh, she probably could have been higher, but she's always had two or three outstanding people around her, including her classmate, uh, Andrea Robinson. Carter. Now we're going to have a foul on the uh, rebound. Over, Obermuller, I assume. Yeah, mm -hmm. Andrea Obermuller. That'll be her first. Substitute coming into the ball game. Parrott, Andy Parrott's going to come in for the Carroll Tigers. So, I think she was in three or four times the other day. She's yeah. going to replace Jackie Voss. And well, probably will work out okay against Benton, although the pressures they're using now is what really gave her trouble in the third quarter of the MOC game. 4-3, Carroll by one. Up court pass off the fingertips. Sassel for it. Goes out of bounds. Ooh, down to the cement. And the four vets, and that cannot be a soft fall. Amber Reed's not going to let it cool her, though. We got Libby Greenley coming up on her outside. Amber Reed tries to save the ball. They both go out of bounds. Oh. Ouch. And she came right up running. You know, it'd be about a week in the hospital for you or I with that ball. Then with the ball, Carroll with the steal. Here come the Tigers. Matchup outside. Sarah Strive and Andrea Robertson. Sarah Stratton came will come up big defensively two or three times a game like she did there. Carroll, 15-footer, in and out, no good. Rebound Carroll, back up. By McCaffrey. 6-3, McCaffrey hits it from the line, and all. Oh, oh, Harold Shepard's not happy for Vinton. Up off the bench, and the Vinton Shellsburg Vicats now. Now they, they turn the switch on the uh, defense. McCaffrey back over on Hewlett again, Mike. I like the matchup this way. I think Carroll's advantage 
to keep uh, keep Yeoman frustrated and make her work for the ball every time. Radicke, ball stole the way. Carroll's playing well right now. Carroll is playing, capable of playing well. 6-3, Carroll on top by three. We're under three minutes to play in the first quarter. Got themselves in trouble down to the baseline. Ah, uh, Hewman got the block. She could have got the foul, too. Up court pass, wasting no time, taking it to the hoop. Ball knocked the end, thrown away by Carroll. Everything's going the Tigers' way. The thing they're doing defensively so well, they're keeping the ball away from Robertson, which keeps the ball away from Yolan, because she's the one who all her career, her career is better. Parrott shot, no good. Ball off the bounds. It's going to be Carroll basketball. 2.26 to play. Timeout to the four. Carroll leads by three. What are we going to run? Timeout. As we come back, that's Kay Shepard, uh, Harold's wife, it's, uh, and Libby's mother. It's uh, looking a little apprehensive as we go into this back action. Carroll's going to throw it in play down to the baseline of their own bucket here. 6-3, Carroll by three, 2.23 to play. Inside, nice pass, McCaffrey. Uh-oh. Is that going to be a yes. foul on Heelman? Yes. Monica Heelman picks up personal foul number two. City replay. They worked hard. Good pass inside from uh, Stribe. The entry pass. No question. The foul was early. Yeah, Mike. She almost got on the first one. This one. They're going to leave her in there, though. Big steal on the inbounds left. Two. Benton sets it up on the perimeter here. Trailing 6-3. And let's see. Let's see if they can get the yep. ball into Robertson's hand to start the offense moving. That's been the problem. She's received the ball. Stribe's had her pushed out far enough. She hasn't been able to start any of the offense. And Obermuir yet, too, to start going. They're looking for Robertson, but I'll tell you, she's being guarded by Strive. And See, that's, as much of a, that's as much of a problem as the job that McCaffrey's doing on, uh, yeah. on Yeoman. There they finally get him well, a hand. She gets the ball, but she's not in a position to really yeah. run the offense when she gets it. I'll tell you what, Don Olsen's done a nice job preparing this team. Might have a walk. Benton. I think it's kind of shook up a little bit. This defense is really... Yeah, they're so used to having Andrea Robertson run the show. Yeah. And, uh, keeping her out, was, as I say, is probably more important than, than denying the ball of Monica Yeoman. 6-3 ball game, minute 26 to play. First quarter, here comes Carroll. The basketball, and you got to remember, Monica Yeoman working down there low with a couple of personal fouls. They get in the hands of Coburg. Down the middle, back out. Parrott. Boy, well, Reedy got him jammed in low. Oh, there's Reed got the block by Hewlett. Hewlett with the block. Here comes Vinton Shellsburg. And the Vikettes will set it up. Man, a Radicke getting ready to come back into the ball game. Boy, look at the way they're making the two, two senior stars run and move away from the ball again. They're going to wear them down with that kind of a pace. Mike, I think somebody else can have to step up here. Well, we saw who it was in the semifinal game, uh, Andrea Obermiller, and she saw no signs of wanting to tonight. Oh, the drive, block, oh, nice play, back up, then good, Monica Heelman. But you saw a little of the frustration of Robertson, who right. couldn't get it in, then Heelman came up with the uh, loose ball and scores. We got a one-point ball game at 6-5. 15 seconds to play in the first quarter here in this 3A championship. And look at that. Can't defend it, but it doesn't go anywhere. Katie Coburg misses the easy one. Six seconds, five seconds. Yeah, oh, nice move inside. Scoop shot, no, but with one second to go, there's a foul out of the four. I think it's on stride, too. Here's it be her second. Sarah Strive, indeed. That'll be her second personal foul. Fouls might... Well, that could be a big turnaround in contest because if they can't pressure uh, Robertson away from the ball, that brings us a whole new outlook. And uh, Coach Charles Shepard very wisely, the last second says, get out of here, Monica. You're not going to get a first foul. Yeah, Robertson to the line. Robertson, a 57% free throw shooter, misses this one. Still an opportunity to tie this game up. She doesn't miss the shot. That's the buzzer at the end of the first quarter. It's Carroll leading 6-5. Carroll hitting over Benton Shellsburg, 6-5, and we are underway with second quarter play here. Tigers 
is in control so far, but they only lead by one. Inside, nice pass. Shot up, no, blocked. Taking it back up again. Hulman can't defend it. Another rebound. Back up and good. Finally, back up by Jackie Voss. And I'll tell you, Hulman kind of, oh, do I or don't I, Mike? Well, she knew she fouled the first time because she didn't get in there and give him a second chance to get her on that. Uh, Hulman over two tall girls shoots no good. Here comes Carroll. 8 5 ball game turnaround jumper. Good by Kim McCaffrey. Don't you like the way she gets from one end of the court to the other? Great, great jumper, too. Ben just having real trouble shooting. All right, they finally get one down. That's two for nine to start out the ball game. Randy Spector gets it down off the backboard. It's a 10 7 ball game. Just under seven minutes to play, second quarter. As we see, Carroll just likes to continue to push the ball down the floor as fast as they can. See if they try to get it back in the three-pointer. Oh, oh. Sarah Stride, number 34, knocks down the tray, and it's 13-7 Carroll. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Kim McCaffrey guarding on Monica Hewelman. Hewelman with three points. Which now they pull stride off of Robertson. You'll see how Amber Reed does. And oh, that's, that's, the next that's the next to get it. Tell you what, she likes that move and she's good at it. Well, the Carroll Tigers fought by 13 to 7. Like, kind of got bitten off, uh, caught him off guard here at the start, I think, with this defense. Andrew Robertson in before you heard the noise. Wow. Oh, we're going to see Stride. Drives equally as well either way. Probably a little quicker to the left than she is to right. They just run into a little bit of a double screen in there by uh, 42. Uh, Goldberg set a screen in there that Robertson really banged into for what she gets uh, out of bounds. McCaffrey's going to throw it in here. Maybe. Well, no. Not in time. Violation. Everything else except the shooting about even through the first quarter. Uh, rebounds, turnovers, uh, free throws, but the shooting the big factor of the day. Let's see what the Vinton Shelfberg Vikettes. 34 wins in a row. Defending champion, of course. 49 and won the last couple of years, Mike, and great program there. Ranked number one coming in. Well, they've always been right tough, of course. They've been behind before. They played uh, a tough schedule. Uh, well, they played some 4A. Oh, that's what I was going to just say. They beat uh, two teams in state 4A field and uh, a number of other teams. Have yeah. Been yeah. Tough yeah. But seven oh, oh, oh. Oh. Nice drive, Sarah Stride. Two more for her, and Sarah Stride has nine. 15-7, eight-point lead. 5.34 to play in the half. Taking it into Hume, a nice pass. Nice pass inside by Obermuir. Yep. Uh, that's the key to the Red Schoenberg offense. If they can run that, run that consistently, they get pretty tough to handle. Over the near side, shot by Box. Yes, boy, Carroll's hot. <laughs> They're four for six in this quarter and hit their last four shots in a row. They lead by eight at 17 to nine. That one made it five for seven of them. That wasn't a bad idea. That was going to be pretty close to a nice pass. Moving off the fingertips of Hulman. Carroll with the steal. Nice pass inside. To and she hits it. And now we see Carroll really wanting to push the pace. Beat it up and go after it. Right, Carroll Shepard's going to take a timeout. 439 to play. And the ball's going away before Dick can get the timeout. And he's going he gets it for you, it in this time. Sarah Stride stole it and scored. Fitton's got a timeout. 4.27 to go in the half. Carroll fans are going crazy. They lead 21-9. Okay, well, they're on a 15-4 run right now. Let's take a look at the Norwest key stats. Thank you, Archie. Early Benton Shelburne really had trouble shooting, as we said. Carroll Street is starting to come back from that 25%. Rebound still about even turnovers too close to call. Yeah, both teams shoot 50% from the field. You can see just exactly Vinton Shellsburg, man. 
And then, of course, the miscue on the uh, timeout call. Well, Carroll has just said he had things going well in this quarter. This quarter, a lot of time already is four for four, and uh, Boss three for three. So there is their last seven shots in a row. 21 9, Carroll on top over the top ranked Vinton Shellsburg Vikings. 4 10 to go in the half. Trying to get it to Hulman, trying to get it to Robertson. Finally got it in Hulman's hand. Finally got it in Robertson's hand. She can create some things. They're patient. I think sooner or later. Spectre might have to hit that shot to open something up. Robertson, who likes to penetrate, and Deshaw, Hulman, down the middle, shot, no good. The rebound, Carroll. They're obviously not a team that likes to come from behind or equip to do a run. McCaffrey going to the hoop. No, and a foul is going to be called on Andrea Robertson. Tell you what, the, the foot speed and overall athletic ability of Kim McCaffrey has made a big difference. We see uh, Don, as we see Don Olson uh, moving his substitutes in and out, uh, giving Katie Colbert some last second instructions before he sends her in. Yeah, you saw number 32 Amber Reed come back in. That's Katie Colbert, number 42, checking back into the lineup. Couple of seniors. Yeah, but on McCaffrey that has impressed me so much tonight. Her ability to run the floor to uh, make quick adjustments uh, with her feet defensively and probably been as much or more of a factor than strategy level points. 21-9, free throw, no, won't go. Rebound knocked around, brought down by Andrea Robertson. So Vinton goes to work offensively, trailing by a dozen. Down the middle there, that's what Robertson does so well, but they're going to call the foul prior to the shot. I think it's the third on Sarah's trap, too. Is that right? Well, they're actually... Indeed, you're right. That's going to be number three on Stribe. And Coach Olson, you're going to have to tell her to stay away from Andrea Andrew Rob, uh, Robertson. She went back and guarded her that time. She wasn't supposed to be. Hulman gets the bucket for two. Twenty-one, eleven. It's a ten-point ball game. Carroll shot baseline. Nope, won't go. Boy, they're getting some offensive rebounds down there, Mike. Well, they got the good overall size, and they got good dunking ability with it in uh, in Reed, in Voss, and in uh, yeah. McCaffrey. Especially Voss shot no good, but a foul across the way over on the far side. That's at least the second uh, on Overmore. It is too. And 30 seconds to play. Carroll by 10. Start playing a little bit. Start playing. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Carroll Shepard, the head coach, and I'll tell you, he'll he'll get him going if anybody will. He says start playing. That second quarter, Carroll is seven for ten. If I remember right, they missed their first two, hit the next seven, and then missed one. But uh, they've got that field goal percentage up from that uh, last graphic at 25 percent. Up to 50 percent now, nine of 18. McCaffrey hits the free throw, 22-11, making an 11-point lead with 2:30 to play in the first half. And didn't I, didn't I just tell you rebounds were about even too close to call? It's 14 to seven, Harlow. Right now. But another factor on that, Carroll's getting some offensive rebounds, Mike, and that one right there. And they're leading the points. 24 to 11. Here's a turnaround by Hulman. Take it in the hands. They can do some stuff with it. Robertson and Hulman. Big factor here now is how Carroll will hold in with uh, Sarah Stribe on the bench for three fouls. She went to the bench with, at the timeout. They look inside to Voss. They get it to her. Hulman might have to let her take it. No! Probably got a hand on it there. Down inside, and they're going to call a foul, two-shot foul. It could be on any of three, none of which is a prize. It's got to be Robertson. I think it's Spectre, isn't it? I yeah. Yeah, Brandy Spectre. Yeah, got it. Got the foul. And Give her a head fake and get her up in the air and then knock on the butt. Down to the free throw line. Reed. Or else down also you could say, don't do anything different you've been doing. 25-13. Those free throws good. 
see if they bring him back down and try and get it to Heumann. There they get in their hands. Cross pass. Not a good shot. Parsley blocked. Carroll comes away with the basketball. We got a minute 38 to play. Ooh, dangerous pass. Hey, but it's going to be Vinton basketball. Not a good pass. No, it, 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 she made the catcher look bad. Uh, and your man, the new substitute on the baseline, but really it was a long pass to cause the turnover. 26 to 13. Carroll by 13 points in this championship game. Here's what will really help if she hits it. She doesn't. Randy Spector. Can't find Ram of the three. See if they go back into Voss, try and get another foul on Hewelman. Turned around shot, no good. They haven't missed any down here for Carroll. Oh, yeah, but you know they've hit seven of their last eight. Long that hit. gets that. <laughs> yeah. Baseball pass to Hewelman, nice steal by Brianne Forkey. Forty-nine seconds to play. Tigers out front. Voss kicks it back. Up. Oh, it's a steal. Here it comes. Oh, they lost it out of bounds. Good effort. Good effort, Mike. That was an almost for uh, Andrew Robinson. Almost another steal. Now we got the ball dead. She's going to get it. I'm going to get it sooner or later. Andrea Robertson, good defensive player, just like she is offensively. Over Muir, cross court, Hewman, good. 26, 15, 17 seconds to play in the half. Carroll by 11 in the basketball. Six seconds. No, don't think no, 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 don't do that. Offensive rebound, best one, count the bucket. The bucket will count by Amber Reed, that's the half. 28-15 is our halftime score of this 3A championship game as the Carroll Tigers have somewhat surprised the number one ranked Vikettes of Vinton Shellsburg here. And let's take a look at some halftime stats. Well, we'll see that uh, in the halftime, Vinton Shellsburg has picked up their shooting much on Monica Yeoman lately, but still trailing much. Three-point shot, the only one that's gone down since drives the left-handed rainbow earlier. Rebounds, a big advantage now for Carroll. That was even before. Turnovers, even. Free throws, not enough shot to be a real factor. Down inside of the lane, shot no good. Hewman rebound, up and good after the shot by Robertson. And she's hit six of her last seven shots to really become a factor in the game. Back with an 11, veteran coach Harold Shepard. He'll have his Benton Vikings. Benton shows their Vikings ready to go. Oh. They got the steal immediately, but then it travel. Turnover on the Vikettes. Carroll will get it back, but I'll tell you, I think we're gonna have a second half, Mike. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get back in the second half. We're gonna... Whatever that means. It was loud, whatever it was. Carroll, Tigers, takes both coaches. Down low. Oh, I got a fit back inside. Little eight-footer. No, won't go. Rebound. Offensive rebound to the Tigers. No, nope, won't go. That's exactly what happened to Vin in the first half, and they couldn't get the basket down. Now we see a change in starters from the game on Denton Jonesburg, where uh, Bradley Spector has stayed in to replace number five, Atlanta Ratke. Well, they're going to leave McCaffrey inside on Hulman. They get the pass there, but a whistle and a foul. Who's it on? Going to be McCaffrey. It's the second foul on McCaffrey. Uh, only player with three in the contest is Sarah Stride, but for Vinton. Three, two fouls each for Andrea Robertson, Andrea Obermiller, and uh, Monica Yeoman. They're big three players, so if any of them pick up a third foul quick, it could be a problem. Still in the zone. Three-pointer coming up. No, can't get it for Andrea Robertson. Rebound, Carroll backside. Well, Mike Henderson, the leader of the 11, we're underway. Third quarter play here. Back out front, Voss. Alley up over the top. Look at that height. Crowd in the mismatch took advantage of it. Yeah. With two little guards, there's always going to be at least one mismatch and maybe two down there. Just alley ooped it over to Coburg. Her four points. 30 to 17. The lead goes to 13 here. 
It down, they're trying to get it down to the corner, then get that pass inside. Plotting down that defense a little bit to get it more evened up to Hulman. Oh, he, he, he had a double throw out of that time. There's a 12-foot shot. Yes. Brandy Speckner hits the bucket from just inside of the line. We have an 11-point ball game. Here comes the fast break. Ball knocked away. Oh, nice. Little pass over to Kim McCaffrey for the two. And she's always sitting on that block. She's the first kid down the floor every time. Back to 13-point lead. Look at him. Pack it in inside on Hillman. Kim McCaffrey's been fronting her. Hillman. McCaffrey three. Uh-oh. That could be trouble for Carroll. And you saw her point to the bench. Well, they do. Uh, Joe Donald and said, don't worry, I want to stay. Time out of the four. It's 32-19, Carroll. Well, sometimes being the press isn't all that tough. We see they've already had the one pass over the top. Amber Reed, and she's going to find McCaffrey all alone on the block on the other side. McCaffrey's always the first person down the floor on those breaks. 32-19, Carroll leading here by 13 with still a lot of time to go. 5.28 to go in the third. Oh, Big play there. Over the top, and Vick comes up with it. Whoa. Who's, who's taller? Three-pointer. No. Won't go. Rebound offense, Bitten, and she traveled. Andrea Robertson tried to get the three-pointer to go down and couldn't do it. Robertson a little tough job shooting tonight. She was seven of eight, if I remember right, in the opener. Five of six on three-pointers. Really 42% from the three-point line for the season. Oh, the pass go break. again. And the ball knocked away, almost picked up by Bitten down the corner. A little sloppy here, picked up by Cooper. Double team. Gonna have a jump. Good call for the official. Yep. That's Rich Larson from Sioux City that made the call. His partner tonight, Marlo, Marlo Van Ginkle from Rock Valley. We see the bench crew headed by Dale Sturz in the strike. Uh, Dale Peterson from Exira on his right, uh, his left, excuse me, and Dick McDonald from Des Moines, the official score. Mike, uh, Mike, we see some great officiating down here. You know, we had, I don't think we ever mentioned him last night, and I don't remember the first name, even first game, even nope. man who worked it. And whenever they say that happens, you know they're doing a good job. Ball off to the bounds. Carroll will throw it back in. McCaffrey. Looking for Voss. No. Oh, nice play. That side, Coburg. Oh, that's by far Coburg's best performance in the tournament. 34-19. 4.41 to play. Third quarter inside the Hewman. There's a kid that I think they might have to stop up. We mentioned it earlier. Did they? They called the travel? Yeah, they called the travel. They uh, Jackie Voss uh, came up big defensively, stepped in, does their own her pass to the basket. Obermuller is a player that can step up, Mike. So far, no points to her credit. She had 23 in the semifinal win. As we said, there's going to be a foul. I think it's on the first girl, even though they're looking at uh, Molly Yeoman. I think it's on Ratkin. Oh, it's on Yeoman. Oh, okay, there was Ratke. Yeoman came in late. They both fouled her. Yeoman's going to get the call on it. Big foul. That's three. That'll send McCaffrey to the line. Thank fourth and class three A tournament C there. Hits the This is the free throw. McCaffrey. Only, oh, only seven points for the contest, but maybe the biggest yeah. point in the lead. With the defense and on only a junior, Mike. Brandy Spector back into the lineup here. Gonna replace. Lana Radicke. Now this is the this is the lineup now with the little kids that Benton really has the trouble offensively. And Carroll likes to go in and post up one of the two guards. 35-19. Carroll, Mick Trier, Mike Henderson, Veterans Memorial Class 3A Championship game. Final crown to go out. Oh, there's a beautiful pass inside. But those are dangerous over. passes because he's catching them on the move and may catch the charge again. Got to travel against Carroll. Ben's going to get the basketball and a little momentum going here. But every time you look up and say a little momentum, you look at this scoreboard, it's still 14 points, 13 points at one time, 15. And Carroll, Charles Shepard, that's still urging his charges on. Four minutes to play in the third. Gonna try for three. Whoop, won't go. Hewman almost got her fourth foul. It's gonna be given to Vinton, though. Doing battle in there. Gotta be careful, Mike. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Just the way they play and the way they lead her on passes, the way she goes to the offensive board. She's gonna pick up one or two by action. Oh, my. 
You know who else is playing well? Jackie Voss inside. Jackie Voss inside. Well, the whole way, the whole Carroll team is. No, no, no question about it. Really seeing a great defensive effort here by the Carroll Tigers. The open turn, shoots good. Probably not one of her favorite shots. Uh, yes, that is her favorite <laughs> shot. That's her favorite shot. She's hit seven of her last eight. And the only thing is giving them even close. 35-23. Pressure being applied by Vinton Carroll. Uh, Carroll Shepard over the rig. Vinton coach wanted a double dribble, didn't get him. But five seconds. Things are getting interesting. Timeout by Carroll. They lead 35-23. Timeout of four. Well, Carroll is up by 12, but Don Olson's talking to his team down there, Mike. Uh, walk it up and take care of the ball. Sarah, if you give the ball up, Tigers. Two, three. Tigers. Well, Don Olson giving him instructions and sending him back out. Uh -oh, there, the he there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes to the water cooler. <laughs> Give me one, please. Give me one, please. <laughs> Carol fans go crazy when Don Olson makes the walk down to the water cooler. <laughs> Unofficially, I've played 14 times? times in the last 14 game. 14 trips the last game. Wow. Yeah, Give me one. Give me one. That's a lot of drinks of water. Great. 35-25 or within 10. Carroll bringing it down and they score. Nice job. That had to be Amarie. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't going to be denied. Took it all the way down. Back up by a dozen. In the hands of Robertson. Looks for Hulman. They're bringing Hulman for the free throw line down, Mike. Trying to catch her. Carroll's still doing, a, doing an excellent job on her, but they've been able to free her. And Good. Brandy Spectner. Pressure here by Vinton. 37 numbers again. 27. Boy. Carroll will bring it back out and set it up. We got a game. Down the middle. Turnover. Yep. She had to do it just a little bit wild. Otherwise, she was going to pick up her fourth foul on a charge. Stop dead in her tracks and try to throw the ball. Minute 56 to play. We're still in the third. We still got we still have another quarter to play, Mike. Ten-point game here. I'm not sure the hearts of the Carroll people are gonna handle all <laughs> They're all down here. They've been standing since Tuesday night, I think. I think they just stayed. From the baseline. Good Spectre Spectre again. Came up big again. Write that one down. Brandy Spectre with a couple of shots. Capola back within eight at 37-29. And the ball knocked away. Overbuilt really has sparked the defense You know, something else oh. is happening. Andrea Robertson is really starting to... Okay, here we go. That's the Spectre basket again. Uh, she's pretty fearless out there. Andrea Robertson is really doing a good job on Sarah's drive defensively now. Drive at 11 in the first half. That's the score. Boy, Boy, uh, ball knocked it about by Hulman. Carroll will get it back down to the baseline. Hey, both teams on a roll shooting. Vince hit their last four. Carroll's hit their last four. Four of six for one team, seven of 12 for the other this quarter. 15 footer, got it. Now she has five straight shots for Carroll. Sarah Stride, 13 points. What a performance. 39-29 for three. Won't go. And a foul on Obermuir on the backside of Katie Coburg. Oh, man. So, Carroll will get the ball in the backcourt, but the Vinton pressure's been pretty good so far. One, yep. two, two, full court. And that one is a turnover, and then a foul as well on Katie Coburg. My guess is the Vinton would have rather not had the foul there. They had the numbers when Robertson came down. She was going to find Yulman. There we go. Just a hustle. Just, that was just a hustle steal by Andrea Robertson. She's playing very well in the second half defensively. Well, Tell hasn't got the shots to fall, though. Vinton Shellsburg with an opportunity to put it into single digits here. They've had it there once on the Radicke shot. And a nice steal. Beautiful hustle. That's boss. You like the way she's played oh, tonight. Oh, and a stolen pocket the half. Obermuller. Yeah. Man. Need a scorecard. Obermuller inside Hulman. There's Spectre. They get it in her hand. Oh. Whoops. 
Yuma thought she was going to shoot. Yeah, McCaffrey was at the spot where Yuma, where Yuma wanted to be, though. And then a travel against Kim McCaffrey. And the turnover will give Benton the basketball down to the baseline, and Harold Shepard's up off the bench. Down 10, could cut it to 8 or perhaps 7, which would be the lowest in quite a long time. There's the, there's Beckner. And she would get it again. Went to pass it to Hulman. Here comes the break. 2-1. Right side up and good. No doubt about it. Amber Reed. Boy, did you see the way this guy, this guy pulled away from people off the dribble. She's the quickest kid on the dribble in tournament. Only 12 seconds to go in the third. This kid needs this basket right here. Robertson, Robertson really needed one. Two seconds, one second. That's the end of the third quarter. We'll go to the fourth and final. Carroll on top, 41-31. <laughs> well, all sizes come here to Vets Auditorium, and there are the, some of the fans that are on half of this 3A championship. Oh, yeah. No matter who you're rooting for, you stay till she's over, and we've it's not over yet. We've got eight minutes to play with Carol leading 41-31. Hit with the basketball. Obermuller. Still trying to play some match up there on Hulman. Got it to Robertson. Three point. Nope. Rebound. Blocks to Vinton. Shot block. Big block by McCaffrey. McCaffrey got it, cut it from behind. Carol Tigers, let's see if they're a little more patient. Yep, inside, ball stolen away by Benton. Robertson again. We'll set it up offensively here against the matchup zone. Down the corner, she's had the hot hand earlier. Spectre misses this one. Well, Benton had a pretty good run. Well, Carroll has done a good run now. They've hit their last six shots in a row. Well, oh, seven. Look at the pass. Seven. <laughs> that pass came from McCaffrey. Amber Reed gets the two. It's a 12-point ball game at 43-31. Well, we find ourselves saying the name McCaffrey a lot, don't we? Oh, we do. Obermuller trying to get it to Hewling. 6.34 remaining. Great balance scoring by Carroll, Mike. You take a look up at that scoreboard, you see a lot of people. Yeah, but I'm not who my two go-to people are, 40 and 34. Here's Carroll down the middle. Get on the foul. It's going to be on Monica Hewlman. Yep, that's four. I think, I think he leaves her at this time. They come in, challenges. Goldberg uh, just kind of challenged her long enough that Yeoman couldn't uh, get the timing down right. Wendy Rogers into the vent and uh, Shellsburg. Goldberg going to the line, six points. And she's not in for Yeoman. Yeoman's going to stay. Uh, Rogers probably a little bit more size than the rest of the reserve. Try to handle some of the uh, taller Carroll kids inside. Goldberg gives him a 14-point lead at 45-31. Six minutes to play in this basketball game, Mike. 3A championship. Earlier, it was Sibley O'Cheaton winning it over North Cedar in the 2A. Three-pointer. Ah, rims in and out. Rebound, Hewlman takes it to the hoop hard, scores. Foul's going to be called on Jackie Voss. What's that? Eight or nine straight for Yeoman at the end. It's nine or 13 for the game. That'll be foul number three on Voss, by the way. She took it to the hoop hard. Timeout. Vinton Shellsburg. It's Carroll by 12. McTreer, Mike Henderson, Vets Auditorium. Carroll leading on top of Vinton Shellsburg, 45-33. Let's take a look at the Norwest key stat, Well, Mike. both teams shooting extremely well now. Carroll was 6 of 8 in the last quarter. They've hit their last six shots to go up to 55% for the game. Vinton also a good third quarter, 8 of 14. Rebounds, Carroll continues to hold that margin. Turnovers, no factor at all. Nice place. Oh. Wave at the camera. <laughs> Humans, free throw good. Now, the trouble is, she has 22. 
her other teammates have 12, and that's the road. Traveling against Carroll, Vinton Shellsburg will get the basketball. They trail by 11. I keep trying to write them out of this game, and they keep coming up with just enough things to give them hope on the turnovers. And three pointer will put them back in, but no. Robertson with the rebound. And the ball knocked away by Carroll. It'll be Vinton's ball. Almost a big defensive play by Amber Reed. Over the back, through the back. Well, the Class 3A All-Tournament team will be announced at the end of this game, but on Monday, there will be an All-Tournament team announced from all four classes combined. And Ivy Food Stores will provide a $1,000 college scholarship to the student-athlete named the most valuable player in the tournament. Another foul on Voss. Carol, yeah, Voss. That's her fourth. Annie, Annie, in for Jack. Jack meaning Jackie, Jackie yep. Voss. And here comes Annie Parrott. Who's played this week? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot more than they really wanted her to against the quickness of MOC. It did a good job. Robertson gets it in her hands underneath. Well, I'll tell you what. We had her wrapped up all game. Yeah, she's been frustrated somewhat. Well, the whole Vetting offense, you look at the field goal shooting. Monica Yeoman is 10 of 14. Now, that's lights out. The rest of the team is 5 of 15. That's not very good. Robertson with only, what, four points? And she averages 15. Free throw good, though. 10-point ball game, 45-35, 5 away to play. Well, if you remember the first round of the tournament, it didn't look like she'd ever miss on this floor again. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was 7 of 8. Uh, bang, 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 bang out of the block. Second good. We're uh, loose ball, picked up by Hewlett, taking it to the hood. Mike, we got a ball game. Yep, and that's 11 of 15. That's 24 points for the Iowa State recruit. 45-38. There was a 13-point lead at half, but now it's down to seven. They're trying to answer and a whistle. And I think Ant Overmuller in it. Uh, somebody in the new 40. girl, 43. 40. 40. Here's the way Vinton can get back in it. There we go, over the top. Robertson and uh, Van Yeoman kind of combined for that one. They're going to think Bill Fenley's cloning them up there next year when Yeoman comes in to play with Jamie Olsen and uh, Janelle Grimm. Because uh, that gives them really a good depth at that position. They all three play alike. They look somewhat alike. It's going to be Carroll basketball out of bounds. <laughs> 444 is what remains. Down low to Parrott. Kicks it back. Three-pointer. No. Rebound. Fought for. Carroll hustles over a hustle rebound. She shoots it blocked by Hulman. Here comes Benton. If they score, they'll pull back within five. I know what their first option is. Robertson. Over Mueller. He can shoot that. Too much pressure from behind by Carroll. I didn't see the fouls on Mike. 52, Parrott. Take them right now. Talking about taking Annie Parrott out of the ball game. The Oldman's free throw up. In and out, no good. Rebound. Oh, might have an over. Robertson did Robertson. some things there to get the ball, but I think she may have got an arm. Good hustle, but foul number three. Annie Parrott was the one that got the block out. Here comes the inbounds, and here comes the pressure by Vinton. Ball is thrown away by Vinton. Oh, that's Man. the exact press that MOC had on him. Oh, wide open. 
Radicke gets the two. We've got a five-point game, and now a turnover on Carroll. The Tigers turn it over with 3.45 remaining in the basketball game, and Carroll leading 45-40. Carroll takes a timeout. We'll be back. What do you need? Behind you, there. Tigers, one, two, three. Tigers. Don Olson, head coach, Carroll Tigers. He's a good one. He had him prepared for the start of this ball game, and he's got him in a five-point lead with 3.45, but Benton's got the basketball, Mike Anderson. Not a lot of, got a ball game. a lot of momentum going to uh, Carroll shooting better in this half, but Benton shot at twice as many opportunities. Pass over the top to Heelman. Shot, no good. Rebound. Hustled over after it. Well, she did, but he missed one. Ball knocked out of bounds. Parrott back out of the ball game. There's Harold. There's Shep. Ladder! Comes out of screen. Here. They have no problem hearing him. But Lada didn't. She didn't come set the screen. Inside Ooh. the human. Count the bucket. She's going to the free throw line. Fouls called on Carroll. Big, big play. You know, you got to think back to it. Oh, we're going to see this coming up. Here we go. Over to the top. Good second pass. That's a tough play. That's a timing play by both kids on the pass. The only one coming around through there. Uh-oh, big rebound. Rebound, fought for it, and the ball's going to go to Carroll. For 100 around a 14 and a 15 point lead through much of the third quarter. Now it's the three. 45-42, 3-11, Carroll. No problem to press this trip down. Slide shot. Oh, no. I thought it was going, Mike. Coburn vessel her way up, but no. Now a chance to pull possibly within one or even tie with a tray. Packing it inside on Hewelman. Robertson tries baseline. Might have a charge. Well, he's got a full oh. signal there, and I'm not sure where it is. 44, I think. And a call it on Robertson. 3-1 is right. That's what you wanted to start with, Mick. A charge on Robertson. Here we come. Very definitely. Very definitely a charge and a push afterward. That, that is the reports, I believe. Uh-oh, yep. here we go. See, we got trust again. We got Boss coming down. Look at McCaffrey on the block. Down to the base. Oh, got a whistle and a foul. It's going to be called against, uh, who is it, Vinton's uh, Mano Radicke? Radicke, you, at least that's what a lot of Vinton folks hope, because every time that whistle blows now, it could be the last of a career for 45, Monica Yeoman, go, go, go. or 31, Andrea Robertson. McCaffrey's free throw, in and out, no. 56% free throw shooter. Eight points tonight, three below her average, and a lot of pressure on a young kid. She hits it. Nine points. Four-point ball game. Carroll on top. 2.20 to play. You open it the side, a Hoop and scores, and we have a two-point ball game at 46-44. Trying to answer the she up, getting up and good. Amber Reed, big bucket, Mike. Yes, it is. Down to Hewelman. Taking it to the hoop. She up, traveled. Oh, Chef's not happy. Uh, he better accept the charge because the option was worse. The option was a charge. 48-44. Carroll by four. Fit with the press. Up to the half court. Minute 44 to play down the middle. Got to whistle up the opposite end and enough travel. I was thinking this moment ago, Mike, wasn't it Brandy Spector that hit those two buckets to kind of spark this? Brandy two of them to get them back from 15 to 11, and uh, really made a difference there. The uh, drives into one of the uh, situations where she's really getting hounded by Robertson. Randy Key for a bucket. 48-46, Carroll by two. Minute 26 to play. Long pass. McCaffrey takes.
Kicks it to the hip hard and big basket. Big, big pass by Stride, who beat the press originally. Great move by McCaffrey on the baseline. Took it to the hoop hard, and we've got a four-point game. And the ball's going away. Big steal by Voss. Throws it up court. Picked back up down there by Reed. Ball knocked away. Hewman gets it. My goodness, Mike Henderson. Hey, there's a lot of good play in this last quarter. Both teams have played it very well from the first quarter on. They all got a little earlier start on playing well. Oh, they're getting their money's worth here at Vets in this 3A championship. 47 seconds to go. Pitt with the ball, and they trail by four inside. Pitt will get it back. Big defensive play by Jackie Ross that time. She threw up big about four or five times this half on the baseline. Timeout is going to be taken here by the Carroll Tigers, and Don Olson wants to talk to his troops. Probably say, hey, gang, we got a four-point lead here. Let's see what happens. We're going to see her on the baseline. They force her deep. The first two girls force her well. Then we'll see her try and come around Boss. Boss just a great block, but the two girls are forced her to the baseline. Really set the play up. Straight five placer. Straight five placer. Don't let her beat you to the baseline. I'd rather shoot free throws right now. So don't let her go to the baseline on that. She's, made, she's got two layers. All right? All right? It's okay for her to go to the free throw line. One, two, three. Well, you hear the coaching from Harold Shepard of Inton Shellsburg. Mike Henderson, 41 seconds to play. 50, 46. What a crowd here. Nobody's left this auditorium. It's going to be Vinton ball. Timeouts left. Vinton with two. Carroll with one. Loose ball. Radicky shot up and good. 50 to 48. Pressure on. Carroll gets it in play. 30 seconds to play. Carroll by two of the basketball. Got to reach it in, foul. That's on Greenlee. That'd be Greenlee. And that will send Carroll to the free throw line. And the press has hurt Carroll on their first two passes inside, but when they beat that first pass, they beat it bad and have been dangerous on their hands. Drive a good free throw shooter. It's been a good while since Carroll's had a free throw, had a field goal, but they've got to kept in New that free throw situation. Something like six minutes without field goal. 51 48, both free throws good, make it a four point game. 52 48. 20 seconds is what remains. Robertson over Mueller for three. No, rebound Hewlett, back up block. And a foul on Voss. And that'll be her fifth, right? Boy, a lot of almost there. It's almost a beautiful block by Voss, which would have been her sixth of the game. Voss is going to check out of the ball game here with only six points, Mike. But what a great job defensively. Oh, he just uh, really made a difference in this team. And that's probably the difference in these two teams and one they played this year and one they played last year, the addition of uh, one more outstanding athlete, which she is. And uh, she's got a year back. Timeout here by Carroll Tigers as they lead by four. They'll set up their strategy for the final nine plus seconds left. There you get a good shot, of course, of Jackie Voss. Let's listen to Carroll's coach, Don Olson. If you get it, if you have trouble getting it in, take timeout. Okay, run press breaker, old press breaker. Let's put Amber here. No, Angie, you come set the screen for Sarah. Sarah goes here. Amber roll to the ball. If neither one looks open, call timeout. Sarah, Sarah, Angie's going to come set the screen for you. And then you're going to roll. Now, come get it. If it comes into Angie, come get it. Well, Don Olson is setting up his strategy here. He forgot one thing, though. I think he should have said. Okay, there it is. Tigers. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the most important thing. Let's don't assume she's going to make it. Let's make God go on sure we rebound if she misses. Monica Hewlman at the line. Shooting two. They trail by four. Nine seconds to play. Hewlman a 75% free throw shooter. And she misses the first. I'll bet you about $10, $20 in the time out of the inbound. 
total inbound. Though. Rebound, Benton, 8, 7 seconds. Shot, no good. Rebound knocked it of bounds with three seconds to go. They'll give it to Benton. Obermuller will throw it in. It's a four-point game. Three-pointer. 